model motorboat took Mr. G. Hillman over a year to build. The internal combustion engine develops one-third horsepower and turns over at 5,500 revolutions per minute. The hull, as you can see, is streamlined. It's split into two separate compartments which come apart quite easily, so you don't have to take a taxi every time you take it to the pond. After filling up with petrol and starting the engine with a piece of string round the flywheel, by the way, see the tappets there? Off we go. The boat's only doing 20 knots now. It can go a lot faster than that, but this pond wasn't big enough to let it all out. And talking about water, this apparatus is designed to overcome the difficulty of shooting water underneath a burning dockyard pier. With a series of nozzles on a slide, you can direct the water upwards at any particular point underneath the pier. By this means, it's hoped that fires like this $2 million blaze will be a thing of the past. Thrilling, isn't it? But this daring girl takes the throttle of a 70-ton locomotive to give the folks at an American fair another kind of thrill. Head-on collision between two huge engines starting 300 yards apart. The two iron horses approach while the driver jumps clear, getting out of the way in the nick of time. Look, they're running wild, picking up speed as they come towards each other for the inevitable smash-up. Nothing can stop them now. There they go. Look out!